I'm back again for what is the last in this series of uh, brush videos for now. And what I'm going to cover today, or on this lesson, is basically kind of a few specialty strokes and tricks and things you can use. That um, You can use them in any of the things that we've done so far. I've actually used them in several things, and now you're going to see what I was doing on some of these. So, first thing I want to cover is a couple of specialty beats that you see in country music a lot. Um, I want to use a cross stick for this and a brush for one and it, like a country swing, old style country swing would just basically be a shuffle type pattern here one, two, three, four and a two for a cross stick okay, two and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one I can emphasize the back beat. Okay, basic country style thing. What works really well with that is this is a called the Monster Wood by Vader. It's a synthetic type material for brushes. Nice low heavy fat sound. body out of the drum. It works really well when you're hitting the toms so you get a lot of beef out of it. Basic country shuffle works great for that. Also works really well for a train style beat in country music. Now I'm going to turn the... Oh, they're on. I was going to turn the snares on, but they're on. Uh, a basic train beat is named after that feel of the train going chicka 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 Okay, so you're basically playing 16th notes. One E and a two E setting the ands while your foot is basically doing four on the floor on the bass drum. So one, two, three, four, one eight, and a two eight, and a three eight, and a four eight, and a one eight, and a three eight, and a three eight, and a four eight, and a four eight. So I want to lay into this a little bit more, play a basic train beat. Now most train beats would be a little faster than that, more like and then I can dip, accent different notes to kind of end the phrase or put fill type things in. You can either pay, play both four on the floor on both feet or do the upbeats over here. One, and two, and three, and four, and chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick. Or you could do both on the four on the floor and drive it like that. So a basic train beat could be really fast too. One, two, three, four. So you can see how the sponsor brush gives a fat, fat sound for that kind of thing. And of course you could do rolls with it. Another way you can manipulate that train beat a little bit is to play double stroke rolls accenting the, well, maybe accent the first note a little heavier than the second one. So instead of having a strict, yeah. to me that has a little bit more of that Zydeco washboard type feel. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to play both of them fast and give you an idea how they sound. One, two, three, four. A little different. You can also lead with the left hand. Right hand. It doesn't really make a difference. You can play these same beats with regular brushes. So I'm going to grab a set of, I'll just use these wooden ones here. Same train beat. So 
So any of those work on that, okay? Some basic country ones you can use. And then here's a few tricks that a lot of people have been asking me about who have seen some of these videos. So the first one I'm going to do for you is what's called a rim flex. This is in the uh, opening solo on the first brush lesson one. And a rim flex is nothing more, I'm going to turn the stairs off, than hitting the rim and as the brush flexes you lower it to the head and let it die. Okay? Now this is the regular wire tap. If I had the wire tap heavy it would be much faster. But... And what I use a lot with that is to take a pattern like one, a two, a three, uh, a bump. Uh. So if I play this, I do something like that. And what I use with it is another effect called a drag, a rudiment, which is And I use those drags with the left hand. So what I'll do is I'll do this with the rim flex into a drag. So here's the pattern with the rim flex, with the drag. So I'm doing two. It's hard to hear it slow, but I'll play it at the tempo. One, two, one, two, three. faster this rim flex can be here. Okay? Much faster. Let me use two wire taps so I get the same effect out of both hands. Now this drag will be Some people call it a flutter, so they're just called squishing. You can just do it's like a rattlesnake or a shaker. Just, that's all it is. You can turn your hand upside down and do it with your fingers, or you can do a heavier version like. similar to what Johnny Rabb does with a drumstick, like a one-handed roll, you basically buckle this a little bit, you're basically doing this, trying to get a fast roll out of it. Clayton Cameron can do this really, really fast, but it's basically this. catch some tricks, watch some of the brush masters out there. Uh, Joe Jones, Jeff Hamilton, Clayton Cameron, Steve Smith, Charlie Persip, Billy Hart, uh, Jack DeJeanette, uh, Louis Belson, great brush player, and there's so many more out there. Adam Nussbaum, um, I know I'm leaving out a bunch because I'm trying to think of them off the top of my head, but I guarantee you Ed Thickpin is another one. Uh, it's got an excellent video out. Just watch these guys and you'll see how they can put this stuff in while they're playing music and, and flawlessly play some stuff. And there's some great stuff on YouTube 
uh, where you see a lot of these tricks where people run the hands across the rim. This is another one I didn't do, but another effect. I don't use it a lot, but it is a good effect. So some tricks to try, okay? Give them a try. Look for some of those brush names I've mentioned and listen to a lot of recordings and practice all these things slow and fast and see what you can come up with and you'll have a good drumming vocabulary with brushes. Thanks a lot.